Over recent years, we've seen a huge rise in the size of files which can be transmitted due to increasing in broadband technology and wireless technology such as 3G and 4G. We are now used to streaming high quality television over the internet. However, there is still a need for sensible compression at all times. Whenever you compress a file, there's going to be a trade-off between the quality of the final file and the amount of processing power that's going to be needed to compress and decompress. In this video, we will look at the differences between the two main types of compression technology, lossy and lossless. At its simplest, lossy compression involves reducing the size of a file by removing some of the actual data. Whereas lossless compression reduces the size of a file in a way so that no data is lost. A lossy compression actually removes data from the original file. This means it can't be fully recreated from the compressed file. However, the reduction in file size from this method can be very, very significant. This is typically used for images and sound files. These days, most smartphones and digital cameras will take photos with enormous amounts of details, typically 5 megabytes plus for a single file. Often these photos are not viewed anywhere near their native size, and they can be reduced in size considerably while still maintaining their visible quality with very, very little difference. Here is a snapshot of a picture of a field that was taken on a modern smartphone. This is the actual size of the picture. As you can see, we've got loads of detail here of individual blades of grass and flowers. This is the actual entire photo. The bit we were just looking at was this small segment down here. It's highly unlikely this photo is ever going to be viewed at the detail in which it's been sent. And so by using lossy compression, we can get a considerable reduction in file size, while the user will notice no difference in quality. Sound files and videos as well can often be reduced by removing certain frequencies to quite a large extent before the quality of the file becomes seriously noticeable. Common lossy file formats include JPEG, MPEG and MP3. Lossless compression on the other hand allows the original file to be recreated exactly. It does this by making use of a concept known as redundant data. That's to say that if, for example, an item occurs multiple times, then the actual item would only be stored and sent once, along with information about the number of times it was repeated and where. The original could then be recreated using the information sent. Typically, a dictionary coding will be created and sent along with the file. The information in this dictionary coding is used to reconstruct the file exactly. The best file size reduction with lossless compression are obtained from long text documents. Typical compression formats that use dictionary encoding include zip, gif and png 